Happy, happy Sunday, boys and girls. Welcome back and thank you so much for joining us for another wonderful lesson. Today, our story is from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. So go ahead and grab those Bibles. If you have the Rick Warren Bible, go ahead and turn to page 121. Our story is called God's Son Comes to Earth. If you have the other Bible, which is the Children's Bible in 365, you may turn to page 279 to follow along. And that story is called Jesus is Born. And don't worry if you don't have either book. Go ahead and grab your Bibles and you can follow along in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. <laughs> While I am reading, I want you to think about something. Are you ready? I want you to think about something. Jesus is the reason for everything. Jesus is the reason for everything. Wow. All righty. Do you have your book or your Bible? <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. Let's get started. God's son comes to earth. Soon after Mary and Joseph were married in Nazareth, the emperor decided he wanted to count all his people. He commanded everyone to go to the city their family had come from. Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem, and it was almost time for Mary's baby to be born. When they got to Bethlehem, there was no place for them to stay. The only place they could find to spend the night was a stable. That night, their little baby was born. Mary wrapped him in soft cloths. For his bed, she laid him in a box called a manger. This is where the animals were fed. The same night, some shepherds were watching over their sheep in a field near Bethlehem. Suddenly, a bright light shone down from heaven, and they saw a shining angel standing before them. They were scared, but the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that is for all people. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. You will find him wrapped in soft cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the sky above them was full of angels. They were praising God and singing, glory to God, glory to God. The shepherds could hardly believe their eyes. They said to each other, let's go, let's go, let's go to Bethlehem and see this child that we heard about. The shepherds ran to Bethlehem as fast as they could and found the new baby in a manger just like the angel had said. When they left, they told everyone about what God had done. Everyone who heard the story was amazed. Wow, that is a good story. God's son comes to earth. We have now heard the story of how baby Jesus was born wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Remember right before I started the story, I wanted you to think about something. Let's think about it one more time. Hmm. Let's think about this. Jesus is the reason for everything. I'll say it again. Jesus is the reason for everything. That's really a lot to think about, but it's so heartwarming to know that Jesus, he is the reason for everything. I want you to remember a scripture. 
Luke 2, verses 10 and 11. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Yes, we can remember that Jesus, the newborn baby lying in the manger, that he is the Messiah. He is Lord. I want to ask you a question. How does Jesus help you to understand God's character? How does Jesus help you to understand God's character? Well, think about this. God's character is all about love. His character is all about love. We, we're supposed to love each other and we're supposed to love our neighbors and love ourselves and love God. And of course, love this baby Jesus. But also, that was so much love that God had in him that he sent a son here on earth to save us from our sins once he grows up. Wow, the ultimate love. <laughs> so that's right. God's character is all about love. And he made sure the character that Jesus will now have will be about love as well. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us today, boys and girls. If you do not have a church home, feel free to make beautiful Savior Lutheran Church in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, your church home. And it's okay if you don't have a church home and you don't live in Michigan, join your local church that's nearby. You want God's word to be present in your life every day. Again, thank you so much for joining us. See you next time, boys and girls.